buying Las Vegas foreclosures in 2022 to 2023. In this video, we will discuss the foreclosure process in Nevada and why the number of Las Vegas foreclosures for sale in bank-owned homes or condos are at record lows and forecasted to stay low until at least mid-2023. Our valley comprises three cities, Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, and Henderson, and the rest is called unincorporated Clark County, including the Strip. We discuss the three phases of the foreclosure process, which are notice of default, notice of trustee sale, and trustee sale, where the act of foreclosing takes place, as well as the drastic reduction of their numbers in each successive phase. Please keep in mind that the foreclosure listings you see in the MLS are called REO, real estate owned, or bank owned homes for sale. The following graphs concern the city of Las Vegas dated May 2022. We will get to the whole metro in a bit. What is the foreclosure process in Las Vegas, Nevada? The foreclosure process takes place in three phases and the number of properties decreases drastically in each successive stage. The pre-foreclosure process starts after missing mortgage payments, so this is the time to work out a solution with the bank. After missing four payments, the foreclosure process starts. First, the loan servicer or the trustee records a notice of default in the election to sell with the county recorder's office and sends a copy to the homeowner. Nevada law requires that borrowers and foreclosure get the option to participate in mediation if the property is owner-occupied. Meager notices of default in Las Vegas Metro in 2022. The notices of default in the city of Las Vegas have been hovering around 20 to 40 until September 2021, but have risen to 51, 50 to 71 per month in 2022. The average number of notices of default for Greater Las Vegas stands at 195 for May 2022 and 208 for the trailing three months. While these numbers seem significant, please keep in mind that we live in a metro area with about 875,000 residences. The next phase is the foreclosure process it is the tr notices of trustee sale. Additionally, notices of default do not mean that the home or condo will get foreclosed on, but if the borrower can't find a way to keep their home, this is an excellent time to prepare it for sale and list it. The next step is the notice of trustee sale. Under Nevada law, the trustee must also send the mortgagee a message at least 60 days before the trustee's sale, explaining the risk of losing their home to foreclosure. Notice of trustee sale is the last stage before the property gets scheduled for the trustee sale auction. However, the sale date can be postponed repeatedly due to bankruptcy or if the property is listed for sale contingent on the property having equity. But it is time to find a Las Vegas short sale specialist if it is underwater. We don't specialize in short sales, but we know who does and we'll be happy to refer you to one. Notices of trustee sales in the city of Las Vegas were at 8 to 20 per month in 2021, but up to 30 to 35 in 2022. 88 notices of trustee sale have been issued in the Las Vegas Metro in May 2022, and the average for the trailing three months is 103 per month. But even this stage doesn't mean the property will foreclose. Trust deed or foreclosing on a home or condo. If all attempts to avoid foreclosure fail, the distressed property will be auctioned off at the trustee sale auction on 4th Street. Here is where the act of foreclosing occurs, and these listings are the actual Las Vegas foreclosures for sale. The number of trustee auction sales for May 2022 in the city of Las Vegas stood at 14, while the same for Greater Las Vegas was 48. An average of 40 properties were sold at the Las Vegas trustee sale auction in the trailing three months. Lenders can't bid more than the loan amount, so some properties were sold to a third-party bidder and others went back to the bank to be sold as bank-owned properties, or REOs, through the Las Vegas MLS. 
Why are Las Vegas bank-owned homes and condos for sale in the Las Vegas MLS so low? The low number of Las Vegas foreclosures for sale is due to the eye-popping home and condo price appreciation in recent years. This table below shows how much the price per square foot of a Las Vegas home, measured from January each year, has appreciated by May 2022. The price per square foot of Las Vegas homes purchased in January 2022 has appreciated by 12% by May 2022. The same is 43% for those who bought their residence in January 2021 and 58% for homes purchased in January 2020. If Las Vegas home prices fall by double digits, those who bought their home in 2022 will go underwater. However, home prices have to fall by more than 43% to eliminate the equity for homes purchased in January 2021. So while some homeowners have missed mortgage payments, it doesn't mean they don't have equity in the property and can't sell it for a profit. So as last, last option, borrowers who don't have any way of paying for the mortgage can sell their residence. Las Vegas foreclosure forecast for 2022 and 2023. By spring of 2021, 1.3% of greater Las Vegas homes were underwater, but even homes with negative equity then, will have positive equity. That is why bank-owned REO sales in Las Vegas are flatlining. So we don't forecast any significant rise in the number of Las Vegas foreclosures for sale until mid-2023. Lastly, unlike many other websites that have not changed for years are saying, Las Vegas bank-owned homes and condos do not sell at a high discount. Getting a discount depends on how much work a house needs, and if a foreclosure is in good condition, it will sell for the same price as a non-distressed comparable home or condo. If you enjoyed the Las Vegas Foreclosures Bank-Owned Homes or Condos for Sale video, please subscribe to our Las Vegas Real Estate channel and let us know what you think by leaving a comment. This is Karen Saberzade of Las Vegas Homes, Condos, and Luxury High-Rise Condos wishing you a great day.